Wifey's birthday today. They just dropped off some flowers, I did. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsa. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Sun's out again today, which makes it a beautiful day. Camera's all cocked over and crooked out front, but hey, it is what it is. As you can see, look, eh? Get a little bit of a cockeye to her, and it's a friggin' wing nut. I got better things to talk about than a wing nut and a friggin' GoPro, maybe. We're having a coffee this morning. We did two jobs already, so they're done. So now we're gonna head back to the shop, help them knock off a few. Actually, I gotta pull over for one sec, make sure there's nothing else is out this way before I head back in, see if they didn't rebook something. Been known to do it to me before they have. Dropped off my truck this morning and picked up a left and elderly outreach van for a windshield. They're gonna drop that back off later on, but it's one of those Dodge, not a Sprinter, what are they, Dodge, um, what are the Dodge vans anyways, the big vans. I want one of them. I want to retrofit one of them bad boys to do. Retrofit one of them bad boys with all my gear, a bed, a cooler, get rid of the trailer, and go traveling. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Just go full-time life with Bilsif and just travel. Yeah, right. Maybe if I had 100,000 subscribers, I'd do that. You gotta have enough money to freaking do it. <laughs> Got a comment there about the uh, LS build. The LS build's coming. I'm told you it's gonna be slow because I'm not gonna charge anything it's all gonna be with cash and I don't make no hundred thousand dollars a year so I'm just like you guys so yeah the LS build is gonna be slow the channel's not dedicated to an LS build anybody that subscribed to the channel just for the LS build it's life with the Bilsif not LS with Bilsif I still hope you stick around I love you all but it is what it is it's coming but it takes time another thing somebody commented about I'm kind of gay because I said I love you well, no, that's not true. So if you go over to Demolition Ranch, he says, I love you on every video, and he has all sorts of guns, you gonna tell him he's gay? Or for the matter of fact, why would you even say he's gay? It's homosexual, just so you know. Just saying, I'm not, I'm not a homophobe. I know where I am. If you don't wanna take I love you as in, I appreciate you, I'm glad you're here, I care about you on the other end of the camera, that's what I love you means. And you wanna take it like a gay, then, or homosexual, and that's your problem. Captain, for everybody else, I love you. Freaking right, I do. So there's another thing I just clarified. So we did two clarifications today. We're doing good. Who else can we cock over this morning? Oh, we missed the train, boys. Bet you're disappointed in that. Girls, peoples. Sorry about that, apologize. I really enjoyed the ice stuff, though. I'm gonna get some more ice stuff. There's more ice flow this morning. It was crazy this morning, and there was a boat turn around in the ice flow, but of course I'm working, so I, I couldn't get down there to film it, so I apologize. So we're gonna get out, get some more ice, see if we can't find any other people walking around on unsafe ice shelves, stuff like that. Went out for a drive the other day, by myself, just cruising. Didn't get out of the truck, because it's locked down right now, but I ended up all the way in freaking Windsor, Ontario. It took me exactly about four and a half hours to do a round trip, I drove down there, down Saint, Lake St. Clair, into Windsor, did a quick drone flyage, and drove all the way back. Didn't get out of the truck once, didn't even have to pee. Couldn't believe it. But I just, that's what happens. Sometimes I get out in the truck, I go for a drive, and I end up, I think to myself, how the hell did I get here? But I really apologize, Windsor. I don't see anything special in Windsor, I really don't. The coolest thing about Windsor is looking at Detroit. Don't get me wrong, there's beautiful houses there, beautiful people, but the waterfront, I don't know, Sarnia, Sarnia is a lot nicer waterfront, I'm thinking. Unless I was in the wrong area. Leave your comments down below if you're from Windsor and tell me where to go next time. Or tell me just where to go. But I'll throw that video, it'll be coming out. There's no talking in it, it's just a drive, little time lapse, little drone flight, little music, no talking. I'll slap that out for you, probably after this video, so you can have a look at it. Because that's what I do, and something's burning over there, so we gotta go over there right now, we do. See, if I have my van and I made enough money off YouTube, this is what I'd be doing all day. Going around trying to find some action. Life with Bilsiv on the side of the freaking Dodge van. Life with Bilsiv in hot pursuit. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Looks like they already got it out. You wouldn't believe how many people get caught for speeding down here. It's a 50 zone and people come through here at the full 80, 90 clicks. Jerk them if you got them, boys. Girls, peoples. Smoke them if you got them. Girls, peoples. You know it's bad for you, you should stop that feel like one go for it not in a huge rush to go back to the shop because we're waiting for the shipment for half the glass that's in the shops by the time we get back there should be good to go even though i'm not actually wasting any time i'm just taking a different route it hurt. It hurt. yeah it's still burning it's over there though too far away 
It's probably just somebody who's got a big brush fire going. Just tack her up and burn her off, Captain. Oh, we got another fire over here, I think. Captain? Oh, they're doing some tree cutting down there. I think I seen these boys yesterday. Sorry, I've got you on the right angle to fucking dangle. Mmm, it smells good. I love the smell of burning wood. I'm hoping to catch a video of the uh, snow machines there where it was the other day, which you've seen on the other video. That's Steve's there. Hoping to do a little video on those snow machines. I think that'd be kind of neat to see. Leave your comments down below if you want to see something like that. I did have a camera outside for that video, but the wind cocked it right over. All I heard was wind blowing. So unfortunately, the only time you heard the sleds is when I was sitting in the truck talking to you. I guess I'm just not set up for out in the middle of a field. Maybe someday, and YouTube full time for you is in my Dodge van that's all decked out with all my stuff. That's my dream. Probably not gonna happen. But if only the money was there. How many of you say that every day? If only you had the money. Money's not everything. Doesn't matter how much money you have, we're all gonna die at the end. But it definitely helps to do a few things that you enjoy doing instead of working for the man. And I'm just not smart enough to be one of those guys or techy enough to run myself off of advertising and t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm just not smart enough for that stuff, I apologize. Some guys just have the knack for that and they can do it. Other guys are like me and hope one day something happens. It'd be nice to find a t-shirt company that actually works and not expensive as hell. I think the only way to do it is like the big channels where they have their own merch. You just order it. But who the hell has the money to do that even? I think until you hit 100,000 subscribers, honest to God, it's not worth doing merch. We can at least have 100,000 subscribers. I've tried merch, I don't know how many times, I just do not have enough subscribers to make the merch worthwhile. You spend so much time on designing and stuff like that, and it's never right because you're not a designer. Well, I'm not a designer. And you don't sell enough of them for the amount of time you spend. So, unless you have 100,000 subscribers, I recommend staying away from merch. I really do. Maybe make up the odd stickers and business cards, but merch don't. Not worth it unless you have more subscribers. And now a lot of these bigger subscribers just grow more and more because they get better content because they have a cameraman. You know how much easier it is to have a cameraman and maybe a guy that does editing for you so you're not always rushed? Try working full time and doing YouTube full time and see how much time you have left and have your family. I am tight for time. People say I'm wasting my time. I could be. I really could be wasting my time. I do not give up easy, as you can tell. It's been what? I opened up this channel in 2000, five years ago, and I'm only at 5,000 subscribers. So 1,000 subscribers a year, which ain't good. It doesn't, it's not looking good. This channel's not looking good. Normally they take off in the first three years if, if you're doing something right, eh? I think it's because my channel's all over the place and I don't concentrate on one thing. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think. Or maybe it's just my annoying voice. Doesn't mean I'm gonna quit. I don't give up. I'm gonna keep this going as long as I can and see what happens. But I'm not expecting to become rich. Unless something drastically changes and I hit a viral video or something like that. Could happen. So if you're out there and you're starting off YouTube and you might think while well, watching your own videos it might be annoying, just change over time. I stopped saying A. I cut out a lot of huns and you know what I mean? Yeah, and you know, I just try to limit the amount of stupid sayings. So if you watch one of my original videos, and then you watch one now, you'll probably notice that I've changed quite a bit how I talk in my content. Not a whole lot, because that's just me. I'm not gonna change a whole lot. There's things that annoy myself when I go back and watch older videos. I'm like, really? What's really going on? So don't worry, you're not the only one that gets annoyed by the older videos. Like I said, if you're a young YouTuber starting out, don't quit, Jim. If that's what you want to do, do it. It takes forever. If you don't have oodles of money and you can just start giving away stuff, what channel would not grow if you're giving away cars and money every time and this and that? Of course they're going to grow. People like that stuff. It's great. I, Mr. Beast, it's awesome he can do that. Not everybody has that option. You know, like, he obviously started off with some money from somewhere because you can't just start a channel and give stuff away. It doesn't happen. You go broke. Or it's one hell of a gamble anyway. So there's obviously money there to start that channel off. So good for you, Mr. Beast. I love watching. My daughter loves watching you, by the way. Thanks for giving back to the people. So that's just my opinion. But anyways, this is just a rant. 
and a rave about YouTube and this and that. So, like I said, if you are starting out, have patience. Yeah, I still have patience five years later. I'm still not quitting. But I'm going to go back to work now and see what's going on. And mom birthday tonight, so I'm not going to be able to edit any videos for you. But I do have one ready for you, which I'll release here. But other than that, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And until next time, love you all. You know what to do for now.